everyone welcome back to kt sessions today we are diving into an essential topic in power automate desktop which is loop loops helps us repeat actions and make our automation workflow more efficient we will go over the basics of loops why they are important and how to use them effectively so loops allow us to repeat a set of actions until a certain condition is met. This can save time, reduce errors and make our workflows much more dynamic. Imagine you are processing a list of files in a folder or iterating through rows in an excel sheet. Instead of setting up individual action for each item, you can use a loop to automatically perform an action for each one. Power Automate Desktop provides us with several types of loops to suit different needs. Let's quickly go over them. First one is for each loop. Second one is loop condition. Third one is simple loop. So let's jump into Power Automate Desktop and create a and create a flow. So when I go to action pane, I can see this loops package or loops group and under this i can see five actions so this is the simple loop this is the loop condition and this is the for each loop these three are the different type of loops we use this next loop action to continue the loop and we use exit loop action to terminate the loop all right so in previous video we saw how can we use list we created this list. Uh, let me show you. We were able to print the item which is available at index 1. This day's name is the list and we have printed the item which was available at first index. But now what I want to do is I want to print all the items. For that uh, shall I create multiple display action to print each item individually? No. So what I can do is I will use for each loop as its name suggests for each. So if I want to iterate over a list, so I will use this for each, for each item in a list, for each item in a data table, for each item in a data row, etc. So for all these scenarios, all those scenarios we use for each loop. It will iterate over each item. So here I will select the list which is day's name and you can see it is creating a variable automatically current item let me click on save and uh, in uh, uh, this loop for loop comes with an uh, end stage you can see whenever we use this for loop for each uh, loop there will be two lines uh, which will denote the beginning and ending of the loop and whatever action we want to perform inside the loop, we will drag drop those actions inside the loop. Now, let me enable this action and I want to print all the items of the list. So here I will select the current item. So this will display the current item of the list, which is day's name and we are printing that current item so let me run the flow so that we can see all the items of the loop all the items of the list as our list is uh, sorted in the ascending order you can see that's why we are getting the data in this order so this is the benefit of the loop we can iterate over all the items of a particular list or a data table now let's see the another type of loops which is simple loop we use simple loops if uh, in case if i want to perform any action for a particular uh, for a number of times for example i want to start the loop from one and end the loop till 10 so i want to perform one action by 10 times so i can use this here i need to give the beginning and here we will give the ending so this loop will run 10 times and 
instead of a number we can assign the value by variable also we can select the variable and i want to increment it by means uh, it it will be the period or the interval means i want to increase the number by 1 by 2 by 3 so i want to increase it by 1 for example i want to print the odd numbers so i will increment it by 2 let me click on save and here i will display a message in display message we are selecting this loop index because this loop will assign the current value to the loop index so when we run when we run this so the first in first iteration the value of the loop index will be 1 so let me run this in first iteration the value of the loop index will be 1 and in next iteration it will be 3 so it is printing all the odd numbers from 1 to 10 so if you want to use these type of loops then you can use this and in this if there is any rule or there is any condition or there is any logic means if the number is greater than this then i want to stop this loop so for that we will use conditionals and in conditional i'm going to use if and here i will give the first operand which will be the loop index and if it is equals to or greater than 5 so i want to stop this okay so i will use this condition and for stopping the loop what i will use is i will go to this loop and here we can see this exit loop so as soon as the value of the loop index will become greater than 5 it will exit the loop let me run the flow and now it should uh, print 1 3 5 and that's it now as soon as uh, the loop index became 7 it check the condition the loop index 7 is greater than 5 and loop has exited and it exit the loop similarly if and uh, if you want to do some Apo something the uh, opposite means if the condition is five, what I want to do is so th this is the condition for uh, as soon as our loop start. So we are checking if loop index is greater than five. So if it is greater than five, then we want to continue the loop. Means we don't want to perform the actions uh, which are below this if condition. We just want to continue. For that we are going to use. this next loop action so or we can change the condition as well means if it is it is uh, equals to 5 then it will continue the loop so that means it shouldn't print the message when the number is 5 so we are uh, getting 1 then 3 but we haven't got 5 it has moved to the next loop which and in next uh, iteration the value of the loop index is 7 so this is how we can skip a particular iteration as well now see as we use this if condition inside this loop but power automates provide a built in loop in which we can apply the conditions as well which is loop condition so this will loop this will iterate a block of actions as long as specified conditions prove to be true so if i give a condition means uh, if if 10 equals to 10 so for example this is a condition okay i will click on save so this will perform actions inside this uh, this will perform the block of actions until this condition is true la la so whatever we want to perform in this action we want to we can do but as i have given the condition in this case what we need to do is we need to always make sure we are uh, we are uh, 
are doing something we are doing some calculations or something so that this condition is getting changed every time because the 10 is equal to 10 it is true so this this loop will become became an infinite loop so that's why we need to do some conditions which can change after some iterations only then the uh, only then this will uh, this loop will uh, come to an end otherwise it will become an infinite loop so let me create some variables uh, let me create a variable i and let me assign the value this to 10 okay and i will click on save and i will create this variable outside the loop and i will go to this loop condition and here i will select i if i is equal to 10 then it will loop otherwise it will not loop and inside this loop we will uh, manipulate the value of the i for example we can decrease the value we can increase the value whatever we want to do so this loop will uh, trigger uh, this loop uh, and this loop will keep uh, iterate and this loop will keep uh, executing these actions until this condition is true until the i is 10 so what we are doing is we are decreasing the variable value of the i by 1 so let me update the value to 15 14 so in first iteration the uh, condition is not true so what we can do is we can give this if i is less than 15 so let's see if i is, I is less than 16 so in first iteration the condition is true it will display the message hello and it will decrease the value of i by 1 then the value will become for 15 then a condition is true again because 15 is less than 16 then this will uh, run again it is a infinite loop so what we can do is we will leave the different condition if i is greater than 10 if i is greater than then 10 then this condition is true because i is 14 it will display the message and it will decrease the value by one now i will become 13 again true then 12, then 11, then 10. Then this condition will become false after 5 iterations. 4 iterations, 14, 13, 12. That's it. So this is how we can use a condition in our loop as well. So thank you guys for watching this video. To let me know if you have any doubt in any of the topic.